Yo, I'm gonna be straight with you right now. I am so nervous to try this. This is the red Komodo, and I'm gonna mount it to the 200 pound suction cup. Oh, not gonna lie, pretty nervous about this, but let's try it. It's finally been done. The ultimate car vlogging setup for any camera. Today I'm showing you a GoPro setup, a Sony ZV-1 point and shoot setup, my cell phone setup, and even a red camera setup. The best part is this rig is nice and simple. The main key to your success is this guy right here. This is the Sea Sucker Suction Cup Vacuum Mount and the main component is that action pump right there. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the larger size which holds up to 200 pounds and the smaller size that holds up to cameras like DSLRs. For most of you, this little one is gonna be plenty fine, maybe even overkill because it can hold GoPros, cell phones, cameras, like DSLRs, and even some that are slightly heavier, you can call them cinema cameras like the FX3, or even the Red Komodo technically, but if you're someone that has one of those more expensive R5s, FX3s, Red Komodos, Canon C70s, might as well go with the big boy, holds up to 200 pounds, just be safe. All right, we're trying this. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I think it's gonna have to mount upside down. And yeah, I got the Condor Blue white cage on here. This is their prototype model. Let's see what's the best way to do this. Probably like this. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going for it. Okay, let me rest that down for a sec. Okay, that's there. Okay, now the friction arm. Oh, it's happening. Okay, let me turn on my Komodo. Oh, God, guys. Okay, it worked. It's working. I'm freaking out about it. Okay, there it is to show you the clearance. The only reason I'm not mounting it higher is because this is the first try and just because... Uh, I don't know yet where I want to position this, but look at that. That is a red Komodo mounted. Let's record something. What is happening? This is crazy. One of my favorite things about these suction cups is this indicator orange little strip right here. Once you pump it enough, it'll go away. And if you start seeing that orange strip pop up, give it a few more pumps and you'll be good to go. But I wanna move on to this guy right here because this to me is even more important for a car vlogging rig because nobody wants to keep a 2000, 5000, maybe even $500 camera suction cup to your car window and just leave it there. And you know what's really annoying? This thing suctions super well, but that also means it's kind of hard to take off of your window. So the key component, in my opinion, is this quick release plate by Condor Blue. Look at how tiny it is. I love that. It's so simple. It works really well. And my favorite thing about it is you don't use a coin to put it on. I hate that so much. You use an actual Allen key so it gets nice and secure on your camera. And the best part is flip a switch, push it off, and guess what? This stays attached to your window, but you can take off your camera, put it away in the glove compartment, take it with you on the go, and continue vlogging, or just keep it safe. But you don't want to keep that just chilling on your windshield for people to see and break your window to take. Now, shout out to Condor Blue because the next accessory you need does not have to come from them, but they make the best one that I found on the market. It's the most sturdy, it's the most versatile, and just freaking looks good. Look at that condor blue color right there. This is a friction arm mount. It's adjustable. It has ball heads for you to be able to mount this upside down in your car, mount this to the side of your car, and be able to angle your camera 
the right way. And the best part is, these condor blue ones are so dang strong. Now, because I'm someone that always likes to share different options with you guys, I wanted to say that Small Rig makes a decent one as well. And newer, that company that everybody likes on Amazon makes one as well, but that newer one is not worth it. Honestly, straight trash. It doesn't even hold up my GoPro very well. This friction arm, the quick release plate, and the suction cup mount, those are the main components you need. Now, depending on what camera you're mounting, you're gonna, of course, need mounting accessories. Now, we all know that GoPros have their personal little mount, so you're gonna need a GoPro to quarter 20 mount. If you're using a point and shoot or a regular DSLR camera, you most likely just need a quarter 20, some kind of ball head, something like that. If you're using a cell phone, you're gonna need some sort of cell phone mount. I have the shoulder pod one that I've had for literally six years now, and I'll link some below that I use all the time. There's a Manfrotto one I really like, and there's a couple others, but there's so many choices out there for phone mounts. Just pick one. One of my personal favorite things about this rig is guess what? This doesn't just have to be a car vlogging rig. Check this out. Use this on a table. Don't even need a suction cup it. But if you're in a more precarious position, heavier camera, suction cup this to any flat surface. Table, window, smooth wall, door, car, outside, car, inside, windshield. The possibilities are endless. And this is not heavy. Look at this. This is a great vlogging arm handle. I love me some Joby Gorilla Pods. I love me some Switch Pods. I have both. I have other vlogging handles and rigs, but come on, this is not bad at all to hold. And this suctions to so many things. And even without suction, vlogging rig. Vlogging rig. Natural light window vlogging rig. Non-suctioned or suctioned, does not matter. Guess what, tabletop vlogging rig. And if you don't wanna use your cell phone, well, Let's try a tabletop GoPro vlogging rig. Boom. Suction to a whiteboard, no problem. Boom. Also quick pro tip about the quick release plates. I actually put one on the suction cup mount and I put one on the camera mounting point. And this is just a personal choice. You don't have to use both. You can just have one and be totally fine with that. It's just a lot easier to put a second quick release plate on there, in my personal opinion. And then guess what? Now you can mount these quick release plates to your camera, to your microphone, and be able to switch these all around. I literally have one mounted to, well, I just hit myself in the face. I have one mounted to my monitor as well, so they can mount up. I can put the monitor on a suction cup mount even, these quick release plates are probably one of my new favorite camera tools, camera accessories on the market. Something I've been loving for the Sony ZV-1, especially the white model, is this awesome little tripod from Ulanzi. It extends out like a little selfie arm and has little tripod legs that kind of magnetize together and they just work so well. It's just this tiny little tripod with a built-in ball head and so whenever I take off the ZV-1 from the car vlogging rig, attach it right here. If you're wondering where you can pick this stuff up or how much things cost, all links will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, of course, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and join the notification gang. And I want you to comment below, what place would you go to right now if you could take this car vlogging rig and go on a little road trip? See you guys in the next one. Yo, this is a car vlogging rig test with the Sony ZV-1 mounted to my awesome rig. Check it out. I can turn you around easily with the ball head. I can even make this a top-down shot if I wanted to. What? Ooh, do a top-down video in the car? That's crazy. I love it. And then I can do both driver and passenger. Can do, do just driver, just passenger. <laughs> this is the ultimate car vlogging rig. David Dobrik. Joe with his mukbangs, the whole vlog squad, 
anybody who does car vlogs, you're gonna want this. Yo, this is a car vlogging rig test with the GoPro mounted to the Condor Blue quick release plates and friction arm and the Sear Sucker suction cup car mount. Ooh, hoo, hoo. let's change up the angle a little bit if we want to. Push it down low, do a overhead shot. Oh, look at that. Shot of us driving. And if I wanna pull off the suction cup mount, I can, and guess what? Now we're holding it just on the go. This is the GoPro test, and uh, let's mount it to somewhere else in the car. Let's go center mount, change up the angle. Now I got a whole different car vlogging shot. Can even push it forwards, do vertical. I can go upside down if I really wanted to. And of course, change everything up. I can even just get a passenger shot. 